In India, it's very beautifully expressed. The first and only one god who existed in that part of the world was Rudra. Rudra literally means one who roars, a roarer. So when I was in conversation with him, I asked him, is it possible that it was not a bang, but it was a roar, a continuous roar? He thought about it, he looked at many things and then he said, it's possible. Eighty-four is a significant number today in our lives, whether we are aware of it or not. Why eighty-four is significant is, this existence has passed through eighty-four uh, happenings. Eighty-four times it has happened, this is the eighty-fourth time. Today modern science proves that the whole existence is just vibration. It's not my invention, it is a scientific fact. Where there's a vibration, there has to be a sound. Yes? Is it okay? I'm trying to go logically step by step. There are other ways to go. Just with this I can make you know it in a different way. But uh, we want to go step by step. Where there's a vibration, there is bound to be a sound. Is that so? So, You are not just a vibration, you are a sound, a noise, that. Those who are making the sounds and those who are not, all of you are just one piece of sound. This is what modern science is telling you. And somewhere way back, somebody told you, first there was a word, and the word is God. Hmm? You know, they told you a long time ago. A sound is a word, isn't it? A word is a sound rather. Right now if I say yes, because you know English language, you are attaching a certain meaning to it. If you did not know English language, as far as you are concerned, I am just making a sound, isn't it? Because you don't know their languages, you are thinking they are making some crazy noises. No, they are saying something <laughs> If I speak in a language that you do not know, you would naturally think I am making some crazy sounds, isn't it so? If I speak right now in Tamil or Kannada or Telugu or some other language that you do not know, you would think I'm making some… You don't know whether I'm really speaking a language or making up some nonsense, isn't it so? Yes. So a word is just a sound. So they said that word is God. Because anybody who has looked at the existence closely can see that what you call as creation and what you call as a creator cannot be separated. If you separate it, creation will cease to exist. Unless it's constantly supported by the source of creation, not for a moment can this creation process go on. Because creation is not a done thing, it is an ongoing thing, yes? Are you an ongoing thing or you're a done thing? I hope you're not a done thing. You're an ongoing process. Without the involvement of the source of creation, how would the creation be an ongoing process? It is constantly involved. It cannot be separated. So it is because of this, 
They said, uh, first there was word, that means from total unmanifest existence, when it began to manifest, the first thing that happened was sound. Even the scientists agree, it was a big bang. A bang means a sound, right? <laughs> In India, it's very beautifully expressed. The first and only one god who existed in that part of the world was Rudra. Rudra literally means one who roars, a roarer. So why they called him Rudra is… that is the beginning of creation because it's a roar. The scientists call it a bang. Now, the scientists are withdrawing the bang theory, that one big bang theory and they're saying, there were series of bangs. So one very popular physicist right now who's written very popular books, recently he wrote a book, I didn't read this, I met him. He wrote a book called Endless Universe, yes, Endless Universe. Always science has believed that everything has a beginning and an end. Now physicists are talking about an endless universe. The yogic system has always been talking about an ever-expanding universe. For the first time, Top-level physicists are beginning to recognize that there is no beginning and an end, it is an endless universe. It is a popular theory going on right now among the scientific community that universe may be endless. So when I was in conversation with him, I asked him, is it possible that it was not a bang but it was a roar? a continuous roar. He thought about it, he looked at many things and then he said, it's possible. Maybe it was not just a pain, it was a roar. It didn't happen in one instant, it roared for a certain length of time and slowly creation began to happen. So the first form, the first god, was known as the roarer. Rudra means the roarer. So I asked, how many times do you think he could have roared? He said, we cannot say. We cannot say because we have no way of knowing how many times, but obviously he's roared more than one time. Then I said, Someday, if your research takes you there, keep this as a guide point. He has rode eighty-four times. He asked, how do you know? On what basis are you saying? I said, by looking into my system, I am saying, creation has rode eighty-four times. And it will roar further, many more times, a maxim maximum of one hundred and twelve times it will roar. When it roars the last time, then there will be no beginning and end, it will be a perpetual creation. That's too far, but I told him, you hold this eighty-four as some kind of a guidepost and you have machines and calcul mathematics, I didn't learn one plus one how much. You learned all those things, you work on this someday. Someday if you arrive at a number, you will arrive at this number, it will be eighty-four. How is this possible? he asked. I said, uh, see if you cut a tree today, people look into the rings of the tree and talk about, in the last thousand years when a drought happened, when excessive rain happened, when a fire happened, everything, right? If you cut into this system with your awareness, the very history of this creation is written into this one. Eighty-four times the creation has rolled, we are in this eighty-fourth roar. What has happened as a result 
of that 84th row is where we are.